we're going to be taking a look at similar triangles today. So uh, what similar triangles are here, it says, uh, if you take a look at our definition, it says two triangles uh, you're going to say are said to be similar, provided what happens? Well, provided that the corresponding angles are equal and the ratio of their corresponding sides are also equal or also the same. So what does that mean here? What does that mean to be have two similar triangles? Well, what it means here is take a look at our two triangles here. I've got triangle ABC and triangle DEF. These two triangles would said to be similar if their course, the corresponding angles of the triangle are equal. So what I mean by that is whatever angle C is, let's label that with the theta, has to be the same as what you'd have here for angle F, angle A, has to equal angle D, and lastly, angle B has to equal angle E. So I'm putting these markings here, uh, the theta, alpha, etc., and I'm making those the same to signify those angles have to be equal. Equivalently, what you can do to say that the angles are equal is you can write angle A equals angle D, angle C is equal to angle F, and lastly, angle B is equal to angle E. So by doing this here, we have um, corresponding angles are equal. Equivalently to having corresponding angles equal, a triangle is also similar if the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same. So what that means here is if I take the length of line segment DF and divide that by the length of the corresponding side of the other triangle, in this case, the length of AC, that has to be the same measure, the same answer, as if I took the line segment DE and divided by the length of line segment AB. Which is also equal to the length of line segment FE divided by the length of line segment CB. So these are equivalent statements here. So what we're saying here is if I take the, if the ratio of the corresponding lengths of that triangle, if the triangle is similar, then these will all be the same. Also, if the triangle is similar, their corresponding angles are the same. So the, the relationship between two similar triangles is illustrated by this these uh, properties here. Okay, so two tri triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are the same, or equivalently, the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same. If you have this property here, all their angles are the same, then you're going to have the ratio of the corresponding sides the same, and vice versa. Okay, so now we have a special sort of relationship between these two triangles. Well, how can we use this to solve some math problems? Let's take a look. So for our first problem here, they give us this diagram. They want us to find the length of line segment A, and they also want us to find the length of line segment B. Well, the only way we can do this, first of all, if we want to apply similar triangles, I have to know that my triangles are similar. So I need to say, okay, this triangle here, the smaller triangle, is this similar to our larger triangle on the outside? Well, to see this, let's take a look. How could these two triangles be similar? Or are they similar? Um, so first of all, to prove similarity, um, you either have to prove the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same or the angles are the same. I cannot prove the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same because I don't have these lengths here. So I can't determine what the ratio would be. But I do know that these two angles, for instance, are equal. And um, what I'm using there is the opposite angle theorem. By the opposite angle theorem, I know these two measures are equal. Also notice here we have, if you remember this, the Z pattern. And the Z pattern says that if you have two lines that are parallel, as we do here, I know that this angle here and this angle here will be equal. So by the Z pattern, right, and what the Z pattern says, this angle here and this angle here must be the same. So now we actually have proved similarity. And the reason for that is because now we're in a situation where these two angles are equal, these two corresponding angles are equal, so it must be the case since uh, internal angles of a triangle add up to 180, these two angles here must also be equal. All right, now that we have these two triangles are similar, 
Let's go ahead and use that to solve for the lengths of A and B. Now, what are cor what corresponding sides are the same? Well, uh, this is seven and a half, and the corresponding length would be A right here. Likewise, this is two, and the corresponding length here would be B. And lastly, the length from here to here is three, and its corresponding side on the other larger triangle would be 12. So in this situation here, we want to solve for A and B. Now I know the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same. So in this case here, if I take 12 and divide that by 3, whatever number that comes out to be has to be the exact same thing um, had I taken 7.5 and, and divided by A. And notice I take 7.5 and, and divided by A. So now notice here, I want to make a point of this. I can actually solve for A here. But the reason I wrote the ratio this way is it's not really the easiest to solve for A when it's in the denominator. So when you're creating your ratios, you can create them in a way that is easiest for you. So what I mean by that is instead of taking the larger triangle and dividing by the bigger triangle, I could do the opposite and that ratio will still hold. So instead of writing 12 divided by three, I'm going to do the small triangle divided by the big triangle. So in this case here, three over 12 is going to equal the small triangle divided by the big triangle. In this case, a over seven and a half. Now it's far easier to solve for a. Uh, you could have solved it using the other method I just outlined, but I thought I'd point it out that uh, you have that option, and then it's you know you should take it if you can. So if I multiply this out, I get one point eight seven five. So therefore, the length of uh, that line segment there is going to be one point eight seven five centimeters. Uh, likewise, I can do that to solve for b. So to solve for b here. Uh, notice this time I'm interested in uh, the larger triangle. So I'm going to go the length of the larger triangle, B, divided by its corresponding length, 2. Whatever that comes out to be, that has to equal, again, the length of the larger triangle, so in this case here, 12, uh, divided by the length of the smaller triangle of the corresponding side, which is 3. This becomes B over 2 is 4, in which case you get B equals 8. So therefore, we were able to solve for A and B uh, using this method. All right, let's take a look at another application. Okay, so continuing on here, we want to look at similar triangles, uh, trying to solve this problem here. Now, if you notice here, there's actually a triangle inside of a triangle. So we have a big triangle right on the outside, and then you have a smaller triangle on the inside here. The claim is, is that triangle, let's write this out so we can see. I'm going to go here, uh, triangle ABC is said to be similar to triangle AED. And just so you can see, triangle AED, this would be triangle AED, sometimes that's my triangle AED, and then our smaller triangle here, and then we have triangle A. C, B, or triangle A, B, C, uh, either way you look at it. We want to show these two triangles are similar. Uh, by the way, there's a short form notation for similarity, uh, just a tilde sign. Triangle A, B, C would be similar to triangle A, E, D. At any rate here, the first argument is to show that they're similar. So for these to be similar, again, either the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same, or their corresponding angles are equal. Since I don't have the measure of all the sides, um, that's what we actually want to find. We're going to go ahead and try to prove that the angles are all equal. Well, right away you can see here that triangle triangle ABC and AED, they share a common angle theta. So that's one angle that's the same. Also, they both have right angles. So therefore, that final angle here, whether we're talking about angle C or we're talking about angle E, must be the same. So because corresponding angles are the same, the two triangles are similar. Now, because they're similar, I can set up uh, the ratio of the corresponding sides. So what do I know? Well, I know the length of this line segment here divided by the length of the corresponding length of the smaller triangle, so that'll be x over 3. That has to equal the length of the big triangle. Now, the length of the big triangle here is not 6 or 9. It's actually 9 plus 6. So the length of the big triangle will be 9 plus 6 will be 15. Right, that'll be the length of the larger triangle divided by 
the length of the smaller triangle will just be 9. So now, because of similarity, we have this relationship between the corresponding sides. So I can go ahead and solve this equation here. So solving for this, we have x over 3 is 15 over 9. Multiply across by 3. And we get 15 over 3 is 5. So therefore, the measure of this leg here of our triangle here is 5. Okay, so that's a quick little application of similar triangles. Um, again, you can see having two triangles that are similar, you have added characteristics between those triangles. You know their angles are equal. You know the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. And you can use that to your advantage, as we saw in the previous problems here, to solve for lengths of sides and angles. Thank you.